Hi there, this is LightKeys introduction tutorial video. What is LightKeys? LightKeys, it's an enhanced navigation and shortcut system for Lightwave 3D. So first thing, how to install LightKeys? Just download it from my blog, as you can see here, the maddoxcorner.blogspot.com. You're gonna find the link there. Download it to wherever you want. Double click the zip file select its contents, unpack wherever you want, in my case, I'm just unpacking it in the same folder. So to install it, it's a two-step process. The first thing, run the executable, double click it, and you're going to see it running on your SysTray as an icon. All right, so the second thing, you need to load the configuration file inside Lightwave. Go to Lightwave, go to Edit, Edit Keyboard Shortcuts, or hit the Alt F9 shortcut. And once the panel opens, click on Load. So just navigate to the same folder that you've unpacked the files, select the .cfg file, and hit Open. As soon as you do it, most shortcuts are going to be updated for Light Key Standard. All right, so click on Done, and that's it. To test if it's working, the first thing you're going to do is click Alt and hold the middle mouse button. That's going to allow you to pan, okay, something not previously standard in Lightwave. If you click now Alt, right mouse button, then you'll be able to zoom in and out, just like in Maya. Okay, so what else does Light Keys provide in terms of navigation? You can hold the Alt Shift key and then click the left mouse button and that will allow you to tilt around the z-axis of your viewport okay you can also hold alt shift and then use the metal mouse button to pan up and down usually in lightwave uh, you can click this button here and it's going to center uh, the object on your viewport but you can no longer pan around. I'm holding Alt middle mouse button here and I can't pan around. I'm locked. So I have to click on that button again and then I would be able to use Alt Shift, Alt middle mouse button, whatever to pan around. All right. But Light Keys gives you the same behavior that you get from Maya just by hitting the F key. You'll see that it centers the object and it allows you to pan around all right and this is enabled by the Maya focus option on your sister icon for light keys all right so let's talk a bit more about how to tell these you can both click on the icon using the right mouse button like I said that gives you the menu then you can for example temporarily disable one of those items and you can also disable the my focus option um, and that will in practice uh, give you the standard locked centering viewport uh, whatever you do that you want to make permanent you can click on write INI file and it's gonna update the INI file so the other options you have with light keys is to temporarily toggle it on or off while inside lightwave just by hitting the right control Cut, tap it once, disable, tap it again, and it re enables the system. You're going to hear sound, confirmation feedback sound. You also have the option to use the X button 2 of your mouse, which is uh, generally the thumb button. Okay, so just by holding the thumb button, it's just like using the left Alt key on your key. The other default setting in light keys it's disabling the windows key it ignores the windows key that's by default it can be toggled off as well but it will be possible in the future so to demonstrate the abilities of light key system I've opened the scene here that I've quickly set up using lightwave uh, out of scratch pretty much uh, to showcase uh, the power of the new shortcut entries uh, you can as usual check on the left side some of the changes you can also open 
uh, the light key shortcut list.htm file in any browser and it's going to list the modifiers uh, the, that, that I use here to describe the shortcuts uh, just as the original keys in Lightwave and the new light keys entry. For example, if you've got the camera selected and to select items you use X for objects, Z for bones, B for lights, C for cameras. For any object selected, you can use the my standard control way to check its properties. So uh, you can do the same with bones, just select and hit control way to bring the related panel. Okay, so if you have an object selected, you can move it using the W key. All right, you can, uh, you have the standard control Z to undo, control shift Z. To redo, you can rotate using the E key, just as in Maya. You can uh, scale, all right, using the R key. Uh, for any bones that are selected or objects, you can select the motion options, clicking on T. All right, you can do the same. The same for objects. I'm hitting X and then T for motion options for that object. Okay, uh, so it's pretty easy for you to switch from object, bones, lights, and cameras. To move along the frames, you can use Alt D and Alt A instead of the arrows. You can move along the chain using Alt S for next down the chain or Alt W to move up in the chain. Okay. As you can see here right and one of the most useful options in light keys if you use the rotate tool you can as usual rotate or tumble around as usual using the left mouse button but you can restrict the axis instead of having to come down here you have very handy shortcuts for those you can for instance suppose you want to lock the green axis in order heading pitch bank red green blue right so green is the pitch so if i want to lock the pitch i just click on s so you have a for x s for y and d for z and that gives you uh, fine control about which axis you want to move around that make things pretty easy for you. So if I want, I can toggle from X to Y just by tapping A and S at the same time. Okay, hit it again. It switches from heading to pitch. If I want, I can unlock the Z as well. This is generally not needed since you can always use just the right right mouse button to, to rotate around the Z axis, okay? In the same way, you can select a chain. For instance, suppose I want to rotate just this finger, I can hit F to focus on it temporarily, which is the My Focus option. As you can see, it's not locked. And I can right click on it to select the chain, just as in default Lightwave. And I can, uh, since I know I want to rotate around the red axis, which is the uh, heading axis, you can. Uh, simply untoggle the pitch axis by using the S shortcut. Just tap on it and green is locked and then once you click and drag with the left mouse button you're just uh, utilizing the the X rotation or heading to, to the form your character, to pose your character. So it's very easy to pose without having to use the ortho field right just tapping S to rotate if I want I can do the very same just by hitting A S at the same time and I can uh, move just along the green axis or the pitch axis okay so this is a very quick uh, overview of what you can do with light keys there's much more to check out unfortunately we don't have time in this video make sure you check it uh, play around with it See what you can pull off with it and i hope you enjoy it see ya bye bye